well, welcome back. It's time to play again. So what I'd like to do is show you what problem I'm going to try to solve on this particular video. I need to be able to make computers and I'm stalled because upstream I need plastic and the plastic comes from my oil fields and my refineries are all stopped up now because they can't handle the fluids coming off to continue making the dry goods, the plastic and the rubber. To create some storage, I'm gonna go ahead and blueprint it first. The nice part about it is I've got these big industrial ones now. I've got a lot of these little fluid buffers down there, but having a large, large one is, oh man, that's gonna be great. I see one problem down here. I need plastic to do it but the plastic is going to be a bit of a challenge because I literally don't have any. So let's see if I can build the smaller fluid buffers and I could build a group of them. I believe these interconnected just fine. I don't believe I've got to put a tube between them when they're that close. So I'm at least I'm hoping so. And they are about one, two, three, four of those wide. So one, two, three, four wide. I think I'm just going to put a pipe on this one and go down the next one just so that I can build like three rows of them and then have one plug in and it'll just fill all of them up. So I need some more modular frames. Okay, modular frames went into this one. Why are iron rods becoming hard to get? Iron rods obviously need a little bit more production than what I'm produced, what I'm providing there. I am going to build another constructor. Put that constructor right there. All right, production. I need a smelter. Okay. Okay, there's the iron ingots going into here. And now we can make rods. And the rods can now flow into here. And with the rods flowing now into there, it's making modular frames, which I need to go ahead and pick up. Now, what I'm looking for is to see if I have any of those power-up things. I'm wondering how you use them. You know, the ones that you make with these creatures that you pick up. There it is. Well, I have it. Can I use it? All right. Don't know how to use them. At least not yet. Maybe they don't work on these particular devices. All right. I've got three there now. I need five each. I need 20 to build a second row, and that's all I'm gonna build out of that stack. So once I get those computers, then I can take the computers and finish the Logistics Mark IV upgrade. That upgrade includes electricity generating plant using fuel. At that point, I can put a bunch of them down there in the oil fields, and I'll be able to use all the byproducts that are made from each oil well that I put down. And that's the whole critical part there is that the power generation is what's giving me fits right now. There they are. And just grab one of those. I want them right next to each other. Might as well, I don't see a reason not to. Okay, the nice thing about these containers is the any and outy are the same, meaning that they're, they're unidirectional, which means I can pump them in from one direction or the other, it doesn't matter and pipe from there to there. Fluid buffer times eight. Okay, select image, good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna clear the designer. Okay, sent to the blueprint designer storage, which is that right there. And so I want to take 
all those things and that guarantees that I've got enough product to build those buffers. So let's go down so that we can get the system started up again and get some plastic up here so I can finish my computers so I can upgrade logistics mark four and then get some more power stations down there. Notice the conveyor belts over there, totally empty. Nothing's happening down there, so we're gonna go start making it happen here in a minute. And I was planning on putting that fluid buffer right in this area over here. Let's go ahead and look here, go to blueprints and go to fluid buffer here. So I'm going to turn it around where I've got the openings. In fact, I'm going to kind of line it up with my other storage there and cool. What I need to do then is I need to drag a pipe. Okay, there's our first one. I don't think I interconnected these. Okay, the byproduct here was brought into these two and combined. The one that just generating fuel was put into those two and not combined. Okay, so the, I do need to have those two combined. Okay, let's just do it there. There, there. Okay, it's moving fuel into the buffers. Okay, got eight more containers that I can use and I should start seeing Yep, there's the plastic starting to come. Okay. All right, we got rubber coming out. We have plastic coming out. That one's still yellow. Why is that one yellow? All right, I need to see why this one is still yellow. Because it's full. It's full of fuel. So we got to trace this pipeline. Well, that doesn't help anything. Okay, so all those fluid buffers will equal out and continue to... Now this one's pump pushing through. You can see that one right, moving right there. Now we should see this one over here being green. Okay, it is now green once again. And I think we can sneak a peek under here. Yes. Yes, it's producing. Okay, very good. It is producing. We now have everything moving again. All right, I am going to build something to help it be a lot easier to get around. Okay, all three of them. All right, we have product going up there to the to the top. Mission accomplished. Yep, oh, they're coming. Yep, you can see the blue things up there. Yeah. All righty. Okay. And it's already made three more or one more uh, computer since uh, coming. So you're starting to see the plastic come in. Fantastic. Okay, so with the plastic starting to come in, yep, it's full up of plastic. Now we just got to get circuit boards continuing. Okay, well, I think that's, uh, that's almost a wrap. I think uh, we just need to do one more thing before we're done. And I think it's right here. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Am I going to hit the gel pack? Yep. 
I did. And down in the gel pack. Yeah, that's cool. We'll see you in the next video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you for more as I continue to make more. I go into surgery on my wrist tomorrow. I'm not going to be making videos for the next three or four days, but, you know, I've got enough in the can that will keep several coming your way. So talk to you later. Bye.